Alright, so I just booted this off of, guess what? The MX4SIO. Now, that's not really that big of a deal, but this is not a special version of LPL. This is the standard ACAD version of LPL. This is no custom build. And this is a FAT with an SSD already. So I can play games, see if I like them. If I do like them, I can transfer them using the network adapter to my SSD and then play them later off a of stable or uh, medium. But also, I have a problem. I just updated the hard drive on this and my artwork is gone now. So I want to show you how I can use this to add artwork to a FAT model. Whatever hard drive you used um, in PC, just use a batch action art download. Once you click this, this screen will pop up and then you hit start and you'll get this bar on the right hand side and then you'll get an operation complete. And then that just downloaded your art. I had 70 games that I did the covers for. Now, you just go into this folder, HDL, HDD. And then inside of that folder, it'll be art. And that's where it downloaded it to. Control A will allow you to select it all and then just copy and paste it to an SD card if you have an MX4SIO or copy and paste it to a USB drive formatted in FAT32 or if you have the special version of MX4SIO with the EXFAT paste it to that and then take it to your PS2 we're going to transfer it using WLaunchElf to your SSD or your HDD and we're going to get your artwork back on your PS2 so I just put the artwork on this SD card put it in my MX4 SIO. I could use a USB drive if I wanted. Plugged it into the PlayStation 2 FAT. Now we're going to transfer it to the hard drive inside. Now essentially what I'm doing is starting WLAN shelf, but I have a shortcut here. This is MX4 SIO supported WLAN shelf. I just have a shortcut on my dashboard. I'm starting that. But you can see as my cursor goes down now, there's no artwork, right? Cool borders, demon stone, no artworks popping up on the right. See the cover is gone. Now we're going to go here into here in the MX4 SIO folder. And I put the art in this folder here. And I'm going to go down one. Hold X, it's going to scroll down, it's selecting everything as I hold X. You can see on the right hand side, that bar is scrolling down to the bottom. Once it gets to the bottom, you can see there's dots at everything I wanted to select. I'm going to hit R1, go to copy, triangle twice, go up to HDD. Now as long as I did the WinHip correctly in OPL, there's going to be a folder here, OP, plus OPL. I'm going to go into this folder, into the art folder, the O, and then I'm going to hit R1 again and paste all of those files that we downloaded with OPL on the computer. This is going to add our artwork. So we're transferring it from the SD card to the SSD. You can also use a USB drive. There it is. Now, triangle, or select rather. I'm going to start OPL up again. And we're going to check to see if the artwork is shown. And 
This is the big reason why I'm using this instead of Grim Doomers. It's because of this feature here. And here we are, and here's our artwork, and it's all showing up correctly. The CD and the artwork. And there's other versions that would show the spine and everything, but this is just the version that I prefer. Alright, and now check this out when I hit left. It also has MX4SIO support, and that is why I've been using the ACADS version, is because um, I believe it's she's been updating it every week, sometimes every other day, and I just have loyalty because I've been enjoying her version over, um, you know, Grim Doomers. So I'm not really sure who he is, and it's cool that there's has EX Fat support, but I'm sure that Akkad will bring EX Fat support one day too. Um, I'm going to start a MX4 SIO game now just to show you how cool this LPL is. Again. Alright, anyway. You guys saw it work. Bye.